I never really felt part of Galway because it's a city and I live out in Athenry. But even then, I didn't feel part of Athenry. I was born in Brazil and then I came to Ireland and I've been living here like two thirds of my life, but never really felt part of either like where I was born or here. I was like, oh, like what's my identity? Like I don't have one. I don't know where I'm from. I got there, I wasn't sure what to expect. People showed up, not as much as we would have liked, but um, this was like the first uh, call out to volunteers. We pitched the whole thing to them and the numbers just grew. Like over the two months, it was like, we tripled what we had that, that night. I thought there'd be a relatively all right group, maybe 20 people or whatever. When I got there, they said 30 had signed up. Within two weeks, it was 50 people. Everybody from every walk of life, age, creed, everything uh, together. Massive language barriers, different musical abilities. Each like culture, each nation, because of the languages we speak and the music we listen to, we have a different rhythm inside us. <laughs> you know, at rehearsals we'd make mistakes, we'd drum at the wrong time. You're still not sure exactly what all of that entails. And I didn't know anyone, I don't think, at the first rehearsal. So it's that thing of like, you're going in and making small talk with people and you're a bit like, what is this? I never thought I could uh, drum. Initially when they're given these patterns, they're like, I can't do that, I can't do that. There were a lot of people there who had absolutely no performing experience at all. So they were, they were very careful to, to not intimidate people. And they were just so encouraging. They were like, come on guys, you're doing it, you're nailing it. Have a go with the drum and there should join in. And uh, that was that. I was a drummer. <laughs> it was just such an amazing buzz and it just added to the excitement. When you're in a room of 30, 40, 200, 300, 400 people and together what you create as a team, that's magical. That's really special. The, the support of the community, the support of the professionals, the experts in what they're doing are so generous in their knowledge and their encouragement. So it was really fun to bring that all together and just hearing us all play like one rhythm, it just felt really cool. How you coordinate 400 people who don't know each other to do something like this, who've never done it before. Steve and Katie P, what amazing people. Like just so much patience and kindness. And they just showed us, they showed us how to march in time, they showed us how about face, they showed us just the, the timing of it. And like, all the time with so much patience. Marching, it's not about being perfect, it's about being close. The volunteers made this. We wouldn't have had any kind of progress without them. They were doing quite complex rhythms by the end of it. Uh, confidently and singing at the same time going for it and they can and it's gorgeous. I think it'll demonstrate to people that within a very short period of time if communities engage with the project that they can within can turn it around into something really special. Don't underestimate communities and people's want for doing something, doing something different in the community and I think it's an important time these days in the world to really get together with your community and start coming together as one whether it be for entertainment or anything. Or you really felt like you were all a part of something. All that feeling of community, that kind of buoyancy when you come out after the rehearsal and you just feel great, you might have had a very stressful day or week. Every time left rehearsal, just on a little high, all that deep breathing, working together in sync, marching, singing in time, beating in time, a sense of real achievement. For people in tune not to have to travel to Galway or to other places to see this kind of spectacle was really special. And for people to have pride in their town. Because it's not just about the city, it's about the county. Galway City gets all the, you know, might get all the fanfare, but it's about the whole county coming together. I want to be part of it for my eight-year-old daughter, Rizky. I wanted her to be at this opening ceremony and for her to be just wowed over and just for her to see how amazing the city has come together and just see what can happen when lots of people get together in a community. We, we have these special little pins that we're given as members of the community cast for the opening ceremony. So anytime now we're about town and we see this little phoenix, we can go up and go, Hi, my name is Martina. I was part of the Unspidale community cast. Who are you and what town are you at? All this, oh, I know your face. How do I know you? Connections. And what's beautiful now is I've got 400 new faces that I can walk through town and go, Where did I know you from? Kind of like walking into just a big smiling room. It was almost like, you know, you know, I'm bringing in a cult. Everybody was smiling, everybody's happy. There's such a cross-section of people. It seems drumming is good therapy for people. 
because they come in and they're happy and they hit a drum and they leave happier and you're kind of like, that's amazing. And they're all laughing and getting to know each other. And By the end of it, yeah, by the end of it, it'd just be, it'd be a brilliant, like you'd, fe you'd leave feeling much better. It's just, it's fun to be connected to people. Saturday night, we were going to have the lighting of the town spheres. So each town throughout the fire tour had their own sphere. Those were transported into Galway, into the South Park. They were going to be lit, and we were going to have the lighting of the phoenix. Can I tell you? Oh my goodness, there's like this giant phoenix, and then the phoenix is going to fly over the like seven town spheres. Like our energy will continue, you know? Like we'll burn brighter in the future. I mean, the idea of it, down by the sea, Goa Bay, the Kirks and the boats in the background, light and fire and turf and fireworks and music and drumming and it sounds fantastic and the one thing you can't control is the weather, whether that's the 7th of February or the 17th of July. I woke up in the morning and was like, right, it's ready, I'm on, I'm ready, and my wife was like, it's not on. I got there and one of the other girls says to me, she goes, oh, it was cancelled. I go, what was cancelled? What are you talking about? It took a while to sink in because I thought, I know, you know, they're not going to let that happen. The two rehearsals that we had for the opening ceremonies, we stood outside in the cold and sometimes raining for two plus hours at times. And then suddenly this huge massive metal bird on fire just flew between two poles and we got to see that. It's a pity that everyone else didn't get to see that. All kind of came together. It was the first time you kind of saw what it was going to be. And it just, it was so cool, it was going to be so big and it, it made sense but I was still upset about it. But it was okay because, well not for everyone else that I told who were really upset about it. When I told them, I texted them and they were like, oh no, what do you mean? Oh Anna, I'm so sorry for you. I'm like, I'm sorry for you, you're not going to experience what I experienced. I feel like what I gained from the whole experience didn't go away because the final performance was cancelled. Nobody was screaming or angry. Everybody was just delighted at the journey and the, and the sense of community that had come from it. It was just a really eye-opening experience. I learned that I'm very excited about this year in Galway and I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. I know we didn't get to see it, but if it's anything to go by, it's going to be a great year in Galway. Every town still got to see their Filer show. Everybody still got a little piece of it, even if they didn't get to see it come together as a whole. That's the weather in Ireland and that's Irish people. We just gather up and move on, just keep going. Memories are great and they sometimes last and they sometimes fade, but what we're trying to create is a legacy and I think in the kind of community that we've created through the cast, I think we've created that legacy. We've had volunteers come up and said, we want to keep this going. We want to keep drumming in this fashion. That was the biggest effect. They wanted to keep this going. They did not want it to die. But so many people are now going to get into into performance of different kinds. Being part of something big like this and just giving back to the community that I've kind of been living in and taking from my whole life has just been something else. I am from here. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. I don't know if I'm allowed to like take up a national identity just because I lived here. But like I actually feel part of like the place I live in for once in my life which has been amazing.